What's going on guys, it's Complete Tech Crew. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at an unboxing and a deep review of the Gear Wrench 232 piece SAE metric mechanics tool set. Again, this is the Gear Wrench brand. This was picked up from Home Depot about a month ago. This is a part of the uh, holiday promotion, Black Friday sale. This is a quarter inch and a three eighths um, inch set. And the part number on this is 80949. This came in right under $200. So basically $200, I think it was like $199 or something like that. Um, I know you guys are wondering, hey, complete, why you buy this? I got this because it's all, it's like all inclusive for everything that I may need while I'm out there in the field building um, racks, data racks, uh, wall racks, and uh, server closets or server farms and stuff like that. So it's a, this is important to me to have like everything in a compact kit because sometimes, a lot of times I travel. So it would be very difficult for me to have like a large snap-on toolbox or a large um, 52 inch or 60 or 72 inch toolbox trying to travel with that. So this has most of what I need, maybe like 80 to 90% of what I need. And uh, the larger sockets or the heavier duty stuff, I'll just have that in another toolbox, like a Milwaukee um, XL pack out uh, toolbox. And then I'm good to go. Like I said, I travel a lot. So this is very beneficial for me beneficial for me and to me. That's why I went ahead and picked it up. I'm familiar with the Gill Wrench brand. I have some of their other stuff, a little, little bit of their sockets, their ratchet and wrenches, and their uh, ratchets themselves. And these ones are 92, so that that's kind of was a big seller for me. So that's why I thought it was worth it, and this kit had uh, somewhat of a value to it. It doesn't have an excessive amount of fillers. If you look right here, that's not too bad, and then just those. Some kits just have just a ridiculous amount of fillers to make it not worthwhile. So I felt that it had the ratchet and wrenches and most of your socket runs with not too many skips or no skips at all. That made it worthwhile to me. So enough rambling. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. It's not that heavy at all. Um, I don't trust the handle on it. If you look right here, it has this handle on it, so I really don't carry it by this handle because it's just like plastic, and sooner or later that'll pop out and snap. So I just carry it from these sides, right here and right here. So to me, the kit was worth it. You know, $200 is a, it's a hefty price and this probably will go down. I'm sure it will go down after Black Friday or not, excuse me, not after Black Friday, but after the holidays, after Christmas or whatever, it may or may not go down. Home Depot clearances out a lot of stuff. So hopefully there's more left in one of these Home Depots around in my area. And I'll go pick up another one just to have it on hand. You know, I have uh, two uh, vehicles that I run out of. I run out of a van and I run out of a truck. So just depending on the, the weather or where I, the location I'm traveling to, that's that'll be the uh, the deciding factor on which uh, vehicle I take. So I like to keep a set of tools on each vehicle. So um, let's get into the top of this. So when you open up the top of this unit, this is where you have all of your uh, your ratcheting wrenches here. You got your full set and your full array here. I think it's really nice how they set this up. They're all in here securely. I was thinking this was gonna fall as I tipped it, but they're all in here securely. So for our metric, we start at size eight and we go all the way up to 19. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No skips. That's good. And for our standard SAE, we have quarter inch all the way to three quarter. So quarter, five sixteenths, 11, 32, three eighths, seven sixteenths, half, nine sixteenths, five eighths, 11 sixteenths, and three quarters. So good. You got your full run there. So let's take a look at these. Just pretty solid. You know, good sounding wrenches. Like I said, I have a, I have a couple sets of these that I use and they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I have no complaints about them. I haven't stripped any or bore any of, of the uh, uh, damage or defaced the ratcheting function or had any issues with them yet. So, so far, so good. And I was a deciding factor of me getting this kit as well again. So I think that's pretty cool. So good looking ratchets. The metrics look good. The metrics work well. I have them. So I think it's great that it's an all-in-one or all-encompassing kit. Like it's pretty much what you need to get by on a day-to-day -day basis, especially for uh, for for you know for the needs that are or for the applications that's that um I need to get taken care of for service or uh, new installations. Is what I've been working on a lot lately. So that's great. And again, that's in the very top compartment. 
Okay, that's how that goes. So these, it has like these little leaf doors. There's an R and an L on this one. I guess that's for whoever assembled it. Um, those, those must be open, I guess, for you to access your, your, uh, your actual drawer slides. So you pull this out. There's a little gear wrench cardboard there. Oh, cool, that's nice. And then you have, you got your filler stuff here, and then you got a lot of your specialty sockets. Then you have your, like you have your Torx and all of those, uh, you got your Torx, you got Robertson slotted, stuff like that, little bits like that. And I guess that's to put this in this drive right here, this screwdriver right here. Decent feeling screwdriver. Pretty cool that they came with that kit. Just another convenience. And you have all of these options here and you have all your star patterns here, all the way up to T55. And it starts at T7, so that's good. T25 is the most common in uh, in our industry or my industry, the low voltage and electrical, we use T25 a lot. So that's pretty good. So it's pretty pretty comprehensive, got some good stuff in there. I like it, pretty good feel. Um, so far, so good, I, I like what I see so far. They do, a lot of every drawer that I've opened and in the top compartment had this cardboard in there. I guess that's to keep everything in place. So when I put it back, I'm definitely gonna uh, insert that cardboard back just to keep everything in place so nothing's back there rattling around our next drawer we have our sockets we have deep and we have our standard uh, size sockets are shallow hopefully i'm in frame real good for you guys these look really good i like the chrome finish on them and everything so we have a mix for our deep we have our three eighths to three quarter and then we have our nine to 19 on our deep here so we have all of our uh, metric at the top here. We have our six to 22. And in the middle, we have 15, 16, all the way, I mean, or excuse me, let me say that right. Quarter inch all the way up to 15, 16. So, and then down here again for our little, for our shallow ones, the smaller ones, we have eight to 19 in metric. So if you're in, like in the mechanic, in, uh, mechanic, into mechanics industry or anything like that, you know that metric is the more common one that we that uh that is utilized i have a background in mechanicing i am by no means uh like a pro i haven't been in it you know that you know for for years and years and years but i have a background in it that was my start and that's the direction i did believe i was gonna go and uh i, I tinker a lot i have a lot of experiments going on and stuff like that and a lot of projects going on now which i will start posting but back to this um really good set so i have some knowledge in it right right now i have a lot of uh tech time Gear wrench and a uh, Milwaukee mechanics tools. I really, really like those. I, I have a couple snap-ons that I've gotten that I've gotten from my brother-in-law, cause he's there, he's in the industry and stuff. I do like a uh, snap snap-on Matco Mac um, and uh, Cromwell, and uh, those are pretty good brands. I really like those brands. They're really nice. So um, they just the affordability on them for me and what I do. Uh, it's just not it's not really necessary because I'm I'm not in a shop or anything like that. So the these type of sets, like the readily available stuff, like Tecton and stuff like that, they work great for me. And Tecton has not failed me yet. I'm so impressed with Tecton. That is a great brand. Gear wrench too, when you when you can find it and when it's wherever it's readily available. But that Tecton stuff, I was able to get the half inch, quarter inch, three eight stuff and just complete kits from uh, my local uh, supplier. So it's that's been great for me and it's worked great. So here go our smaller, deep sockets and our smaller shallow sockets so hopefully i'm in frame well enough for you guys to see that so uh for our shallow our smalls for our metric we have four to 13 for the smalls and standard we have 532 to 9 16 and for our deep smalls we have four in metric to 14 and in standard we have 3 16 to 9 16 then we have our extensions here. Uh, we got extensions here. It's probably gonna keep falling. I'm gonna try to put that back. We have our uh, other keys right here. Um, pretty basic, simple kit. You know, I'm appreciative for that because it's there. So it just makes it, it makes it that much more simple. But I have tons and tons and tons of those. So again, just a filler. You know, of course it would be nice to get a lot more, but. 
you know, a deal is a deal. Got to take it how it comes. And here we go with our 90 tooth quarter inch. Pretty good feel to it. Gear wrench always has a good feel to it. So no complaints there until I use it. I torque down on it and break it or whatever, which I doubt I'll do, but I'm going to put it through its paces. And we got our 90 tooth three eighths. Really good look, really good sound to it. So no, nothing to say too much about that other than good stuff. And I have those two. Um, I use three eighths mostly and half inch mostly in my applications. It's very seldom that I use quarter inch, but sometimes you do break out the quarter inch for uh, working on dashboards and instrument uh, panels and stuff like in uh, the older truck that I'm working on or in some uh, some uh, uh, vehicles and stuff like that. So. Quarter wrench comes in handy and to have this complete set and complete array with me for whatever uh, situation I run into is act absolutely convenient and, and and incredible in my opinion. I appreciate it. Thank you for this one, Gear Wrench, because I honestly have been looking for something like this. I didn't feel that the Husky one met all my needs for what was in there. I did buy the Husky, um, some of their ratchet and wrenches just to have in my toolbox and tool case with me when the set that I take onto the construction site. Cause um, taking like my, my good stuff and my Milwaukee tool, uh, Milwaukee ratchet and wrenches and all that, those stuff is just way, that stuff is just way too expensive, excuse me, to take out there and risk getting stolen, uh, lost or damaged by, you know, someone else who's just careless and just picks it up and wants to use it, you know? So um, that's why I buy things like this, not per se to let somebody else keep it and run off with it, but I can take the hit a lot better cost-wise financially if it is to get defaced or broken or uh, stolen or lost, you know? So, and then these days, these construction sites, you know, I don't know if you guys have a lot of experience on construction sites and stuff like that, but stuff gets, stuff gets, let's just say lost uh, really, really quickly. I mean, if you, you didn't see it get taken, you can't prove that it was taken. So, um, it's just hard to keep up with your stuff. And we're trying to get creative on so many ways to lock stuff up. Most of my stuff, I roll out of there with uh, some of those um, uh, marble workstations from Husky. And I'll beef up the lock system. I'll put a bar on the front of it just to just to keep my stuff, you know, all organized. Because the worst thing to do is walk around. It is just not convenient to walk around with boxes and keep going back and forth, back and forth. It's just not productive. So I'm all about productivity, even myself running, running, a, running a specific project, or, you know, working, working by myself, you know, whether it's a lot of guys or just myself, you know, you, you just want to, you always want to consider what it, what is actually taken and what it requires to get a task done and be ahead of that. You know, you want to be productive and uh, you want to make a profit. So that's why I invest a lot in like, you know, these type of uh, solutions mobile workstations and, and kits and stuff like that. A lot of guys feel like they're cheesy. A lot of guys feel like, uh, you know, they, when you buy kits like this, the tools are garbage, but I stand behind gear wrench. I like them a lot. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about gear wrench and my experience with gear wrench has been nothing but great. So this is a good, it's a good set to have good comprehensive set to have. I'm going to keep it with me, throw it in my service cart when I need it and throw it in my mobile workbench when I need to go on site and uh, have a lot of equipment and tools with me. So again, guys, I hope you like this unboxing and review. If you need more information about what's included within the set or anything like that, I'll do my best to detail in the description. I'm still learning how to get better with the descriptions and stuff like that. So I'll put it in there. There's also a QR code on the front of the packaging that you guys can probably beam or go on the Home Depot website and just type in gear wrench. This is probably their most popular thing right now because there's ton, there were tons of them when I first got this. So I was kind of hesitant to get it, but I actually needed it. So I'm glad I picked it up. Again, there goes that little buffer cardboard. So I'm gonna put that back in there just to keep the kit all nice and secure. And uh, hopefully you do, got, you guys do find it if you feel like you need it and you can find that good, the that um, $1.99 price. I don't think, I honestly don't think it's gonna go back up. But if anything, let's hope it go. It drops after uh, December, you know, somewhere in the first to second week of January is when they start doing their clearance. So be looking out for that. You might get lucky and find one for twenty five dollars off a couple bucks off. Anything's better than nothing or anything's better than paying over what it was, which is that two hundred dollar price point. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me, sticking with me and watching these videos. It means a lot. I'm moving up. 
uh, slowly, but I am moving up with the subscriber count. That means a lot to me. That means people are actually like watching my videos and value what I have to say. I'm really passionate about this, a real passionate enthusiast about uh, these tools, about the industry, about mechanicing, about a low voltage and electrical, um, IT and networking and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get some way better content coming, how to's and advice and experience and stories about what's going on. Try not to make the setting and the experience so boring for you guys. So please give me as much feedback as you can. I'm not sensitive. I like constructive criticism and constructive feedback. It's the only way we can grow, you know? So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, follow on Instagram, uh, like, and comment there as well. Thank you so much. Peace.